podcasts are essentially audio recordings that are distributed through the web. And um, the name comes from the idea that they're put on the web, wrapped in an RSS feed, and then subscribed to, and ultimately they end up on your iPod or such MP3 player type device. Um, and that started pretty much a year ago, um, but in that time it's, it's evolving very quickly. There's Apple's obviously involved now, and Yahoo, and a bunch of other people. And so that's the most generic definition, but I think it's going to change pretty quickly. I think it's exciting for a few different reasons. I mean, there's, I use the phrase, the webification of audio is how I like to describe what's happening with podcasting. And audio has been on the web for lots of years, obviously. I remember in 1996 hearing real audio over the web and really as every few seconds after it would buffer, you'd hear something and it was a pretty amazing experience. Um, and then streaming actually, streaming radio has a surprisingly large audience, but it wasn't really a mind-blowing, compelling experience for a long time. And right now what's happening is sort of several key pieces of, of infrastructure and um, expectations, I guess, got, came into place that made the idea really take off. And those pieces were uh, broadband being extremely widespread, so the idea that you could actually download a high fidelity version of audio instead of just streaming it made the experience much better when you're listening. Um, and then obviously with the digital devices, notably the iPod that millions of people are carrying around, and the fact they're hooking these to their computers, and you could take this audio and then put it in, on your device and listen to it wherever you want, um, kind of made the idea obvious to a lot of people. And then suddenly the, a similar thing happened um, to what was, is more or less radio content that, that happened to print in the early days of the web. Everyone suddenly saw, oh, the web is this incredible new distribution vehicle for all this stuff we're publishing. And so that enables lots of things. It enables um, an explosion of new content. And that's particularly interesting with audio because um, when you're talking, in, we say audio generically, but um, the most interesting stuff in a lot of podcasting is the non-music stuff, because music distribution has evolved quite a bit, but the radio type stuff, talk radio or spoken word audio, which can be cover a huge variety of topics, has always been pretty limited in its just distribution options. So on your talk radio dial, you have very few options for what you can listen to. And um, so now you have a web's worth of options of what you can listen to, and that's pretty interesting. And then the fact that you can listen to it whenever you want, and the puts like the web did, puts the information consumer completely in control, is pretty interesting. And then the third promise that obviously was part of the web as well is that anyone can be now be a creator of this content, not just a consumer.